When VR Builders built Trisona Cove East and Trisona Cove West, they offered three very large floor plans, the Captiva, the Estero, and the Santa Rosa. Today, we're gonna take a tour of the Santa Rosa. So the Santa Rosa, as a base level floor plan, is around 2,700 square feet. So this Santa Rosa has a bonus, which makes the total square footage of this property around 3,400 square feet. Five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and a ton of space to live and party in. Check out this dining space, one of my favorites. You guys already know that. That's why I love the Santa Rosa, but let's take a look at other things that we have here. Something that I really appreciate about the Santa Rosa is the glorious space of the kitchen, the cafe, and the great room. It's a really good combination of spaces that can be utilized for multiple different things. For example, here in the cafe, this could be your traditional breakfast table or a round table or whatever it is you have, but it's also large enough to where you could put a large size dining table, which would free up the dining space over there if you were not a formal dining person. And take a look at this kitchen and this island. It's eight feet. Now don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure eight feet is the official regulations for beer pong. Another really nice design feature of the Santa Rosa is this space here. So currently it's utilized for coffee and some other knickknacks that you could put there, but I've also seen people utilize this as where they would put a larger toaster oven. They can have their coffee machine down here. This would be the same void where if you wanted to eliminate this cabinetry, you could put in a wine cooler or an ice maker or something like that to really fully utilize this space. Speaking of clever designs, this is a location that VR Builders likes to call their HMC, and I believe that stands for Home Management Center. But what we really use it for is an area to drop our keys and clutter up all of our mail that will probably never open. It's also conveniently located right off of the garage. So if you parked in the garage, check that out. It's right there. Just dump all your stuff. And here we are in the bonus room. So this, treat it kind of like a loft. Open space could be an additional living room full bathroom and a bedroom with a walk-in closet. Personally, I'm not much of a bath person unless the water's 39 degrees, but in the Santa Rosa, they have put a bath, a shower, two vanities. This place is awesome. And the moment you've been waiting for, the pantry. Just kidding, this is one of two walk-in closets in the primary bedroom. That's one, that's two. The primary bedroom has a private entrance to the covered patio space. Another cool feature about the Santa Rosa is this space here. This could be treated like a secondary master as it's a bedroom, but it does have a full bathroom attached to it. Could be great for older children, a great guest space, an office with a bathroom, the opportunities for this space, uh, there's a lot. So from the exterior of a Santa Rosa, this is the easiest way to tell this floor plan from any other floor plan, and it's this space here. They're calling it a locked door. So it's called a side porch, and I get a lot of questions about what could this space actually be utilized for? Well, you could put chairs here as a, just a traditional porch area. We thought of some other clever ideas. If you were in the cold plunging, your cold plunge could go out here, a sauna, you could put a Peloton out here, you can put some nice bushes and some other things and make it like a zen den. You could screen it in. There's so many options there. I just want to stop talking about it. So that is a Santa Rosa in a nutshell. Please, in the comments, let us know what you think about this floor plan. Personally, it's one of my favorites. I really appreciate your time. My name is Shane Bergman, your Vieira expert, and I'll see you in the next video.